Hello everyone, you heard about me a lot over the past minutes. We are going to talk uh, in this innovation talk about all the ways we can have a more sustainable living at home. And today I'm with Bidisha Nagaraj, who is VP Marketing at the Residential Market at Schneider Electric. And I'm Joanne Gig, and I will be your host. Hello. Hi, Joanne. We are going to explore this route about sustainability, but before we enter into these green initiatives, green um, material initiatives, can you walk us through like what Schneider does into sustainability? Sure, uh, happy to do so, Joanne. Um, I mean, we have a wonderful booth here, and if you see, we have an entire area dedicated to joining the good fight, sustainability pledges. Why do we do it? Why are we doing this? I'm um, happy to share that Schneider Electric is about a 180 years old company. We are there across almost 200 countries in the world. Um, we are global specialists for energy management and automation. Um, Schneider Electric's purpose is to enable consumers, customers to make the most of our energy uh, by bridging progress and sustainability. Our tagline is life is on. Now it's interesting because sustainability is part of our DNA. It's there in our purpose, it's there in our uh, business uh, 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 mission, it's there amongst our employees. Everything we do has a sustainability angle to it. Uh, whether it's our products, whether it's our programs, whether it's our offers, solutions, whatever. So sustainability is the reason and the big mission that Schneider Electric has, Joanne. And we have big ambitions, right? Absolutely. I mean, our ambitions, speaking about homes, um, our ambitions are many, but just, just in the context today, uh, we are looking at becoming 100% uh, uh, plastic free by 2025. For our packaging? For our packaging. And about 50% or 50 to 60% uh, using green material in our, in our uh, products. So um, we also work with the UN SDG, uh, United Nations Sustainability Development Goals, and we are aligned across five or six different uh, areas. So we have big, big aspirations and missions as we go forward. We are going to focus today on these two commitments that you just mentioned, Bidisha, yeah. the green material and how we can be better with packaging. Let's start with the green material. We started, I talked a lot and, and pitched a lot about these fishing nets. How do they become like switches? Can you explain to us a little bit about the story? Sure. I mean, isn't it fascinating, right, to think about fishing nets become light switches, right? I mean. Honestly, it's my favorite story as far as sustainability is concerned. How's, how do we go about doing it? Um, we partner with a company called DSM. Uh, we know that fishing nets are made out of polyamide. Now, polyamide as a material is a very, very durable material, right? We can use it to any, you know, anything that we want to make. What we, wh what we do with DSM is that we go to India, we look at the fishing nets and the beaches, and we incentivize all the fisher people, fishermen, to do two things. We incentivize them on making sure that fishing nets are collected. We also incentivize them to make sure fishing nets are not dumped back into the ocean because that's going to tram, uh, trap the turtles, right? So. In the back end, we are creating uh, an economy of developing resource, developing occupation for these fisher people, fishermen. The fishing nets come to uh, DSM. That's where Schneider Electric comes in. But that's really the backstory of where the fishing nets come from and uh, uh, how we use them. And now we have a plastic a compound that needs to be adapted, right, to becoming a light switch. Absolutely, and you know, um, as opposed to uh, using ocean plastic for making bottles or making 
buckets or tubs or whatever. With light switches, it's a little different, remember? Because we need to withstand, you know, we need to withstand heat of about 800 degrees centigrade because these are switches, right? So that's where Schneider Electric's um, R&D comes in, where we look at this polyamide material, we work in the factory, making sure that these switches can withstand heat, right? And remember, we're talking about commercial production, so it needs to be consistent, batch after batch. Uh, that's where our technology and our uh, entire R&D comes into place. And um, uh, I'm, of course, simplifying the entire thing, but that's how fishing nets are made into switches, and uh, it's all demonstrated there. It's called Merton Ocean Plastic, uh, uh, and it has a beautiful backstory. I mean, honestly, to see circular economy work here, right? That there's fishing nets, which doesn't get dumped back, but we reuse it for our switches. Isn't it fascinating, Joe? That's a fascinating story. That's the one I love personally. And feel free to have a look at the manufacturing process that we try to simplify over there. So every time we avoid traditional plastics in another way, right, to make our, our homes more sustainable. And where can we expect, I'm sure that's the next question of the audience, where can we expect to buy these uh, switches? So, uh, like I said, we are, we are there across 200 countries, but today these switches are there in a few Europe countries. It's there in Germany, but, you know, we are, it's going to come, it's going to go all over the world very soon. But right now it's only in Germany. And Ocean Plastic is one initiative. We like to, to, to tell this one because it's a flagship. But if we want to reach the 50% green material objective by 2025, there must be other initiatives. Can you walk us through them? Sure. You know, uh, one thing is there, right? And all of us, uh, we are here because there is a certain part of us that believes uh, in and embracing sustainability. Um, today, uh, if you look at our lives, and the way we lead our lives, it's very linear, right? We buy, we use, we throw. I think we all need to move to a more circular economy where we recycle, re repair, uh, uh, repurpose products, right? So in this context, uh, we have a couple of switches, um, uh, namely ODAS, uh, where uh, we look at, uh, we look at ODAS gets built in Spain in a completely green net zero factory. But the interesting thing is there's ODAS Recycle, which is another variant of our switches, where we use industrial waste. Uh, interestingly, across the world, there's about 54 million tons of industrial waste that gets used, that gets thrown out. We get them and we make switches out of them. So that's our ODAS range. Uh, and Joanne, as you know, we've won lots of uh, awards, Cradle to Cradle certificates for some of these switches. Cradle to Cradle is indeed a very important certification that we got. This is the first time a company w gets a certified, uh, sorry, silver certification for Cradle to Cradle for an electrical component. And we are very proud that our Merton switches, uh, as well as ODAS, so you can see some of them on the, on the booth here, and uh, Ovalis gets this certification. That means that Cradle to Cradle, if you're, if you're not um, familiar with it, that means we are, uh, we are making our switches enter into a circular economy. I think there is another initiative that we brought, yeah, by that the way, is, right? uh, Yeah, absolutely. I forgot to mention that it's called Resi 9 Green. Now, all of us know that our houses have electrical panels. A lot of it we can't see because they are hidden behind the walls, right? But there is a very important component called the circuit breaker inside an electric panel, which is really the first defense in case your house gets into a fire situation, right? Now, Resi 9 Green, uh, again, very, very proud to say that it is made out of 56% recycled plastic. And again, remember, plastic which can withstand heat, uh, plastic that doesn't go back into the landfill, we use it um, to make our circuit breaker. So Resi 9 Green is another fantastic, fantastic green product 
uh, that we make. And I can tell you, the, the engineering behind is absolutely incredible because it's not just you're using a plastic for a, a, a sneakers or whatever, right? Um, appliances in homes. This is absolutely critical that it complies with the strictest safety standards for, for electrical installations. Um, now we talked about another initiative, which is on the packaging, right? Yeah. Can, can you tell us what we do in packaging to make sure. our offer greener? I mean, you know, we ship out close to 200 million boxes of, of packaging every year. Now, if we have to talk about sustainability, surely we need to make an impact there. Two very quick things. We've stopped using single-use plastic completely. Second thing is we use recycled product for our cardboard uh, uh, boxes. In fact, we're trying to use less cardboard boxes as much as possible. The ink that we use on the cardboard boxes are again vegetable oil. Um, so, so think about 200 million boxes being shipped out with recycled material, less cardboard, vegetable ink. I think we definitely, definitely will make an impact. It does. And I hope you understand the passion that Vidisha and I have about these initiatives. Um, and I hope you understand a bit better how we do. I mean, that's, enough, that's one of the parts that we do to make our homes more sustainable. And um, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. So if you want to visit our booth, put your sustainability pledge on the on button, which is there, which we meant to be, become completely green by the end of CES. So all, all we can say is join this good fight towards sustainability, because if all of us don't come together to embrace sustainability, our next generation is not going to have a planet. Because remember, there is no plan B, right? So thank you very much for your patient listening. Uh, we are very, very passionate about sustainability and I'm sure you guys are too. Thank you. Thank you so much.